My name is William De Angelis. I am working for, for Sile as a CIO CDO. The water network is quite, um, I will say, bad in general in Europe. We lose more or less 30% of water. Sile is 24 municipalities, it's more or less 3,500 kilometers of pipe, and uh, we should replace the pipe, but uh, it's quite a lot of investment. Today, the raw material is very expensive with the inflation, so we should predict which one we should replace. And that should be possible with the data. If you want to make a good decision, you need data. If you need data, you should collect data. Sensor and IoT is a good way to collect data on the different uh, steps of the network uh, on these 3,500 kilometers. So we divide the project in four uh, axes. One was a smart metering. So to put a smart meter on a mechanical meter at home. That's, that's we can see how the citizen consume the water and maybe we can through information, inform it and change the bare view of the consumption. This is the first axis. The second is the grid. The grid is the 3,500 kilometers arriving to the house and the grid putting sensors to a certain uh, kilometers, we can see where there is leakage. In fact, we start deploying sen flow sensor. Like that we can see how we produce, how we consume and we can see every maybe five kilometers always a flow and we can detect maybe the pipe with a leak or maybe a fraud. This project um, is very sustainable in fact because we reduce the cost of the maintenance, we reduce the leak, we offer new services to the citizens, we will offer a pay-per-use option, that means the consumer pay what it consumes. The challenge was not the sensor or was not the pipe, it was how to do not pay a public telecommunication network at that price, it was so expensive. So we decided to invest in our private telecommunication network in Laura One with Cisco. It's easy to deploy, it's not expensive, and uh, it cover, it's a low range uh, telecommunication. With, with one antenna you can cover 15 kilometers. Laura network today is used only for water. And now we've been to different municipalities to say, please, try to use this incredible motorway for other use cases air quality smart parking smart lighting stuff like that so the idea is to collect data and to be a uh, uh, do you said at the service of the citizen in fact cisco because at that time when we start discovering what was uh, the best telecom option uh, and biot was not an option it was too expensive and we need a uh, or do we say that uh, an authorization in Belgium? So we were looking, and it was six for six for do not exist anymore. And, and, and Cisco believe in this new technology. It's what Laura one and already deploy it in other country. Some other utilities company use some other technology like data loggers, like maybe NBIoT. But it, there is a cost, and it's not real time. But today, with inflation, I think other ut utilities company will think about using LoRaWAN technologies. So today, with the data, in fact, we, the utilities or the smart city face the same problem. There is a climate change, so we should be more efficient in the way to consume the water, in the way to, to, to change the behavior. And with the data, the political can check if its idea is put into action to the citizen.